What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I am your host, Jimmy Smith, and I hope you're all having yourselves a great week. We're here. It is hump day, so you know what that means. The initial injury report for the day is out. Week 18, final game of the regular season, but it's far from over, ladies and gentlemen. And I see A.J. Brown speaking to the media. He's got some people starting to come back on board, so let's go. And we're going to talk about that, going to show you some clips later tonight in a live video. But right here, right now, we're here for the initial injury report for Week 18 for the Eagles and the Giants. So got important news for both teams, so let's talk about it. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Love to hear your thoughts below. Appreciate you hitting the like button, subscribing, all the things you're doing here. But let's start it off with the Philadelphia Eagles here. And look. We know that Devontae Smith left uh, the stadium in a walking boot, but we talked about it. It's supposed to be a minor issue there with that ankle. So we're hoping if he just misses this game, he's ready for the playoffs, but did not practice today. Now you've also got defensive lineman Jordan Davis and edge rusher Son Reddick there. Look, they did not practice, but that doesn't mean they're not going to play. Right away, people think that, but we got to look for tomorrow. We'll see if they get limited, get moved up at all maybe go to full, uh, but if they do not practice again, then you get a little concerned. Friday, we'll have the game status report. We'll see who's out, questionable, all that great stuff. But limited was Zach Cunningham, Avante Maddox, and Darius Slay. Now, Cunningham, he was limited last week, but unfortunately missed the game, but hopeful to have him back in time for the playoffs. Avante Maddox, you know that he got thrown into the fire, kind of. Um, I thought we would take things a little bit easier. We had... Bradley Roe being active for some reason, but we'll see how we take things. Let's get him up to speed, though. We know he's going to be rusty. Get him ready for the playoffs. And then Darius Slay. He's got that knee issue, but got the stitches out. He is working out. Said that he feels very, very good. So let's go, baby. Hopeful to get him back in time for the playoffs. Don't need him out there on this stupid-ass MetLife uh, turf. So if anybody's banged up with foot injuries, leg injuries of any sort, just don't even play. I uh, hate this damn stadium, but you see what's going on with the Eagles there. Now let's take a look at their depth chart just so you know what's going on. Here are the reserves first on the left offense, on the right defense. So Roderick Johnson, Albert O on the offense there on IR. You see practice squad IR, Devin Allen. Now on the defensive side for the IR, Bradley, Dean, Evans, and McPherson. Hopeful maybe we can get Dean back for the playoffs, but uh, who knows? Isaiah Rogers next year, very excited about that. Anybody in green new to the team this season? So let's take a look now at this depth chart. Not going to see any of those names because, of course, they are on reserves list. Now, anyone in green here new to the team this season? Keep that in mind. So that is why they're green. But here is the offense. And look, Devontae may miss this game. So more from Julio, more from Covey. Uh, Watkins could still do what he's doing there. But, uh, you know, everybody else, you know, you talk about um, on the offensive side of the ball here. Hopeful that everybody's good to go. It's the defense, really, where you got a lot of injuries. So if Davis and Reddick are out, you know the depth pieces. Nolan Smith, you know, get more Jomo, some of these rookies in there. Um, and then looking at linebacker, obviously Shaq and Van Sumer in there behind Cunningham. And in the secondary, Ringo getting more time. So hope to see him. Everybody stay healthy through this game. We'll see what the injury report looks like tomorrow. But the special teams, everybody is good to go there. And then I, uh, of course, as always, will show you the practice squad here. Eight on offense, eight on defense. And Saturday, we will know if they elevate any of these guys. But keeping up with the injuries, we can see who they might look to elevate on Saturday. So there is the Eagles injury news for today. You have any thoughts on it? Love to hear from you. But now let's take a look at the New York Giants, and they've got some important news here, too. Center, John Michael Schmidt, he did not practice with a shin injury. Jason Pinnock, he has a toe injury, did not practice. So a couple of starters there. And then Deontay Banks and Tyrod Taylor, both starters limited in practice. And then, of course, depth pieces, Carter Coughlin, Darnay Holmes there. So they've got some important news here. Let's take a look at their reserves list before we look at their depth chart, and you can see we went over this the other day. You can check out Behind Enemy Lines, Week 18, where you can see everything about the Giants, what's changed in the last couple of weeks. But you can see uh, the offense on the left, a lot of guys on IR, one guy on IR from defense, one guy on the pup list from defense, and then you can see special teams, two kickers on IR, and then a kicker on practice squad IR. So a lot of injuries for the New York Giants, anyone in red, new to the team this season. Now let's take a look at their depth chart. You see here on offense, and. 
You talk about John Michael Schmitz. They just lost right tackle Evan Neal. He's on IR. And then Tyre Phillips, who was with the Eagles earlier this season, he looks to be going on IR. So he'll be gone. We'll see what they got going on. A lot of injuries on that offensive line there. So definitely concerned there. And then the defense, we talked about Pinnock being banged up and some other pieces. And clearly with Tyrod Taylor, you have Tommy DeVito, but it looks like he's just limited being precautious there. So he should be good. But defense, we'll see if Banks, what's going on with these guys, who's healthy throughout the week. But here is that depth chart in case you missed it. Mason Crosby in there, practice squad kicker. That will be elevated for the game. That's why he's in parentheses there. And then you see their practice squad. As I mentioned, Mason Crosby there at the bottom special teams. But you've got yourself six guys on defense, nine on offense. So there is the 16-man practice squad for the New York Giants. But that is all the injury news you need to know for today. I'll be back tomorrow with the top matchups, and that will include the updated injury report. So make sure to check that out. If you miss Behind Enemy Lines, I will post it down below in the comments. Love to hear your thoughts on that one. Love to hear your thoughts on this one. Again, I appreciate you guys hitting the like button, always commenting, tuning in. I cannot thank you enough, and I'll be back live later tonight. Talk about A.J. Brown. Show some of those clips from his time with the media today. Ooh, it was good. So hope you're ready. Hope you're getting bumped up. Finding a little hope deep down below, hoping I can help you find it. But uh, until then, I am Jimmy Smith, and this is On the Road to Victory. You all have yourselves a great day. Stay safe out there. And as always, go birds!